Hi friends, today we are going to talk about how we can create a search help for uh, uh, how we can create a search help for a domain value. So let me talk, talk to you what I'm talking about. Okay, let me explain to you. Um, so here I will tell, uh, first we are going to talk about uh, creating a um, domain. Okay, so first we go to SE11. Okay, and here we will create a domain. C, we put C, S, T, 11, and we put, we just put test. Okay, and we'll see, we'll just give a name. Z, S, T, 11, test 1, 3, and we will say PO type. So this is something related with PO type. We are going to create one. And which is will make it character number of characters is one okay and now in the value range we will say suppose it's, <coughs> it's a, we will say b which is blanket po okay and then there is c we will say catalog po then we have suppose um, f is framework po Okay, so these are some of the stuff, and this S is S is service PO, and we will say M is material. Okay, this is my uh, value list that I just created. So I'll just click local, local object, okay, and we'll say this one. So we did this, the domain has been created. Now we are going to do what we are going to do is we are going to create a data element. Okay, so first the domain is the first thing. Then we say SE11. Then I go to here. I go to data type. I just see create and already exist. Okay, that fine. So we just create one and we'll say data element. Okay, and here we'll say uh, PO type. Suppose. And here I'll give the, the domain name, okay, and that's it. And there I'll give freelance one is, we just say, uh, five, we just say, <coughs> PO, PY, and we'll just say, N, and we'll say, PO type, and 15, Type 20, just say purchase, purchase order. Say activate and save it. Okay, so here you can see. I'm activating it to so get activated and in the meantime what I'll do is I'll start coding I'll go to SC38 I already have a program and here we have this one select this thing match code user ID or something <coughs> so let's see it's getting activated it's taking some time to get activated Oops, 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 oops. Okay, so the object saved and activated. Now, what we are going to do is we have this thing, and let me do one thing. We are going to add it to a table. So let's find a table ZSD11. Let's see whether we have a table that is created. Okay, views variant test table. Okay, let's see whether this can be used. Okay, so this is a table that is there. It's active. Okay, so we will say PO type. Okay, and we'll say key initial, and we'll just put this one. Okay, here you see, and we click on activate. Okay, so now this is the table. Now what we are going to show you that here. Okay. So once we this is done, I'll just put tables. 
GST 11 test 1 3. GST 11 test 1 3. This is the table. And I'll just put here S your type uh, for GST 11. Uh, sorry, test 1 3. Uh, one three and let's click yes and we will put pure type pure type okay and select options and let's select this one and it's activated now it's a problem ZST eleven uh, now, pure type is unknown, so I think it was CST11 underscore test. Okay, I made a mistake here. Here is this. It should be activated now. And it's now activated. Now we are going to hit the F8 button. Here, you can see the drop down is come. Now, here, what happened is, this drop down came because you have a value help it means we have created a domain uh, so fixed value for select options it will show but for sometimes in the screen if i put it in the screen it will not show up okay so for that you have to create a search help okay you have to create a value help how you can create a value help from this so very simple you can create a value help without much coding is we go to se11 and if i go here this is the search help which is the search help for domains what i am going to do is i'll go here i'll copy this value help okay uh, let me go i'll copy this view sorry i'll copy this view i'll copy uh, here and now I'll put CST11 test133 uh, and we'll say this local object. Here, what we are going to do is I'm going to change mode. Click on change. And now, here, if you see the select condition is here, what I'm going to do is here I'll hard code the domain name. Okay. So, what I'm going to do here, I'll copy this one condition i'll go to select condition i put an and clause here and the next step i will be doing is equal to this so in this way what you can do is here i'll just put this domain and now this will be variable okay so you can create we have created this view now here if I execute this I will get everything that this domain have as you see domain value limit and all those things so it's pretty nice so here with this you can create a search help also now so I'll just go here I'll just go here, I'll copy this, and oops, what I'll be doing is I'll work a little smartly. I'll copy this and I'll create one search help exactly like this. And here, what I'm going to do is I'll go here and I'll change this selection method and, and I'll activate it. Now what happens is this search help, this value help or whatever, you can use it when you have fixed values. Okay, so here if you, if you notice this one is there and if you execute it, you don't have to give anything. By default, it will give you this because I have hard coded in the view. Okay, so, so this is very helpful. So whenever you have a domain domain based value and you want to create a value help you can create using this option okay so that's it stay tuned to my sap channel and happy sap learning and have a great day